Yeah. All right, guys, I'm here with Saket on my right and uh, Vishnu on my left. So why don't you just go ahead and introduce very quickly to my audience. Hi, guys. I'm Saket Cherpuri. Where are you from? I'm, and I'm from Hyderabad, India. Oh, a lot of Hyderabad guys here. <laughs> and uh, what did you study in the bachelor's, man? I did my electrical and electronics. From? From Institute of Aeronautical Engineering, Hyderabad. Okay, okay. And how long are you here in Germany? It has been uh, five months. Yeah? I'm just five months old in Germany. Cool. And we, on my left, I have Vishnu. Vishnu, why don't you just go ahead and introduce your name, where you come from, and what have you done in the past? Yeah. Hi, guys. Uh, I'm Vishnu Isa. I'm coming from Kerala. Where in Kerala? Uh, Kerala, Alupura. Okay. I'm doing a master's in embedded systems here. Yeah? Yeah. So, uh, how long are you here in Germany now? Four months. Four months? Yeah. Okay, cool. So, right now, the next question uh, is super important. A lot of people would want to listen from you is, mm -hmm. how did you apply? What was that first moment or when was that like, okay, um, you know, think about that you're explaining a kid. How will you explain him step by step? Okay. of apl application here, your journey from Hyderabad mm -hmm. to Chemnitz where you're sitting right now. Okay, sure. I completed my bachelor's in the year of 2014. Okay. And then I was working for a software giant called Tech Mahindra back in Hyderabad for about uh, two years, seven months. And during that process, while I was working, there was a moment where I thought, no, this is not the field what I wanted to be in. Okay. <laughs> and then, and also I was very interested uh, towards the automobiles. So I thought one thing you get in mind when it is automobiles is Germany. Yeah. It's the birthplace of automobiles and all. So I thought why not search for uh, education courses in Germany. So yeah. let's go ahead. Uh, so I have selected the institutions now. Mm -hmm. Five of them. Five of them. Just email them. Okay. Email every university, whichever are uh, the links whatever given in uh, DAD and then they'll reply you. Correct. That is what is required. So, so if yeah. uh, after uh, uh, out of those five, mm -hmm. three said go and apply through Uniassist. Okay. How do I apply through Uniassist? So if you want to apply through Uniassist, you have to first create an ID in Uniassist. Okay. Which is a very simple process. Mm -hmm. You just go through the steps what they give. Yeah. You have an ID in Uniassist. Yeah. And then Again, there you have uh, options of how to apply to a university. Uh, right. if, we, if, as you said, if three universities say apply through Uniassist, it is very sure that those three universities will be in Uniassist portal. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Correct. So when, when, you, when the opening times of uh, the, the particular course has, has started, they will reflect in Uniassist portal. Okay, okay. And then you can directly apply. What are the documents I should, before I even start applying to Uniasis, what are the documents should I keep it ready? Bachelor's uh, transcripts, transcripts and all, right from our uh, schooling. Oh really? Yeah. Okay. From schooling and uh, the 12th, mm -hmm. your bachelor's. Okay. And it depends again on what the university is asking for. If it is an English taught program, mm -hmm. then it would be, they would be asking for uh, IELTS or TOEFL. And if, if there is a, a requirement of also having the German language proficiency, so even that would be required from either Goethe Institute. Correct. Yeah, a certification. A yeah. certification, yeah. Exactly. So in your case, uh, uh, your course is in, completely in English? Yes, my English is. My, course is an English taught program. And uh, did they also ask you some level of German proficiency before you came? Yes, yes. How much was that? They asked us for an A1. A1 level? A1 level. Yes. And where did you go and learn this before coming? I went uh, to a private institution back in Hyderabad. Oh, uh, what's that? Ram, Ram? No, it's not Ram Krishna. <laughs> oh yeah, Ram Krishna Mat is a very famous spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah right? I didn't uh, okay. go there. <laughs> All right, but okay. my tutor was from Ram Krishna. <laughs> he got a certification from that. But you have to certify yeah. that, right? Yes. It's, where did you go for that? Go to. Yes. Uh, so you went there, gave exam. Gave an exam. Then you get a certification that yes, hey, exactly. your thing is certified now. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. So you take all these things, apply to Uniasis now. Yes. Okay. Okay. One is one thing is that you definitely have to uh, submit a copy of your hard copies. Uh huh. Okay. To Uniasis. Okay. Okay. And 
if uh, if the process is like you have to apply directly to the university mm -hmm. and again then you have to send hard copy okay mm -hmm. and uh, let's talk specific about just cabinets to you cabinets mm -hmm. so in your case you uh, you got through uni assist admission yes, right yes okay and uh, um, you also went over like you know multiple like you send the soft copy first, then you send the hard copy first, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. right? Yes. And once you got the admission letter, mm -hmm. um, how long you had to wait after applying? Okay. I got it on 19th July, I remember the date. Oh, wow. the, the admission. Okay. I don't remember the day I applied. So people should be patient after applying? Definitely. That yeah. is what is necessary. Patient <laughs> and they also have to be very early. Correct. Right, yeah. right. So this is a typical way if I want to study into your candidates, I go to uni assist and apply mm -hmm. and then I get through the admissions here. Exactly. Vishnu, I'm more interested to know uh, since he explained about the uh, application process and everything. Yeah. When should I start working on my visa? Because it's very crucial, you know that. Yeah, you know, yeah. It's, it's, yeah just walk us through. Okay, uh, once you get the uh, admission, admission, yeah, uh, you can, you have to uh, open a blocked account. Correct. Uh, Either you can open it in Kodak in India mm -hmm. or in Deutsche Bank here itself. Correct. Correct. And I opened in, in Kerala, mm -hmm. in Kodak Bank in Kerala. Mm -hmm. It took almost one month for me. And uh, after that, I make an appointment for interview in uh, German Consulate. Correct. Where? Uh, in Bangalore. Uh, in Bangalore. Okay, you went to Bangalore Yeah, Embassy. Bangalore Embassy. Okay. And uh, with all the documents, they mentioned all the documents you required for the visa Correct. in the site. And a DD amount of some four thousand or something. Yeah. Yeah. Did Did you take appointment before going there? Yeah, yeah. We have to take the appointment uh, online. You have to book the appointment. How long did you wait for that? Uh, luckily, I got in the first year. Really? Yeah. Wow. Did you? Yeah. Did you also get it like quick? I got it really quick. The wow. Okay. Our uh, Our province or maybe the parts in which I stay have lot of empty slots maybe, maybe uh -huh. I could say that. Maybe in Mumbai it's always filled up. It is all, always all the time. Filled, yes. All the time. <laughs> but yeah. Alright, so uh, so you took the documents and you went to embassy after appointment yeah. and you submitted them. How long did you wait for your visa to come? Uh, almost one month. Yeah? Yeah. On July 12th I received. On the same day I got uh, admission from Cheminix. I, I actually had visa from for another university. Ah yeah. Okay, uh, how many universities, universities did you apply? I applied around 8 or 9 universities. And how many did you get reply from? As in uh, uh, five, 5 universities I got admit. Wow, what about you? I applied around uh, 9 universities, I got from 4. Ah, when is the ideal time I should apply for accommodation? I think you should uh, apply maybe, let us say you applied for cabinets. Yeah. And I think you should apply for student for the accommodation also, maybe a week or one and a half weeks later. Yeah. It is better that you have an accommodation in your hand before Correct. coming here than rather than uh, coming in searching. Uh -huh. It would be yeah. a better option. Is there any alternative if student doesn't have accommodation? Is there any platform where I can reach out to people, uh, which you know somebody can rescue me, like you? Know. Yeah. Uh, is there Facebook groups available here in Berlin? Uh, Cabinets? Oh. <laughs> uh, I think there there are few groups on can uh, on Facebook. And again, uh, is there any group called Indians in Cabinets? Definitely, we have a lot, yeah, of, a lot of Indians. Yeah, in Indians in Berlin, Berlin also there is one. Uh -huh. uh, yeah. Okay. So um, I think our next question I'll be interested to know from Vishnu is what is the cost of living? What is the if a dad who's watching my video and he would like to know um, how much my son will spend in a month on an average. Yeah. On average, yeah. How much that would be? Uh, the, if you block uh, 8,640, mm -hmm. the limit will be 720, 720 20 yeah, euros. Correct. And in Cambridge, you can spend, you can limit it to four, 500 euros. Yeah. Within 500 euros. Within 500 euros? Yeah. That's impossible Without. in Berlin. <laughs> with, uh, okay. with the rent and everything, including rent, insurance, 
everything within what is the year. average price for re room rent here uh for mine it's 180 180 180 hmm. oh god okay and uh, uh what about how much do you spend on food food maybe uh, 60 euros or 50 euros in a month with all the stuff you, you can see buy this? I cook myself yeah but 60 euro 60 euro for you yeah oh yeah, my god cheap seriously cheap in here. It's very oh expensive. my god okay I always spend 150 or 200 on food yeah oh man I think can we do the best <laughs> <Yes, laughs> <to> survive <laughs> okay okay uh, how much insurance 90 euros. You? It's the same, same, same. same. Which which one do you use? A ticket. And you? Same. I used A OK. Okay. And uh, so uh, and what about Wi Fi or internet connection? It's all included in the rent. Ah. They are providing, they are providing. Alright, it's not a case in student and work in Berlin. You yeah. have to yeah. go out and talk to Deutsche Telekom guy or O2 guy or Einman's guy. Mm -hmm. And then you get the internet connection. So on an average, you spend twenty euros mm -hmm. in if you buy it from outside. Okay. okay so you saying less than five hundred cost mm -hmm. of living, mm -hmm. in, even in your case. Yes, definitely. Not more than five hundred. No. Yeah. Okay. Would you both actually recommend students to come here in this in this uh, TU trail Canvas? Mm -hmm. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. There are a lot of different good different courses going on here. And okay. The course structure is nice. Those structure is nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I think I would like to end this by only asking last question to Vishnu is what are the courses are you being taught in your course? What are the subjects specific? Okay. There are hardware and software specific subjects are there. Okay. Uh, there are subjects for hardware designing sections are there, mm -hmm. like DODS and all, mm -hmm. CA. And therefore, into CA or deep learning sections, they are like image processing, computer vision subjects, the first semester. All right. Uh, yeah. So these are what you've been taught right now. Yeah, right now, first semester. Okay, okay. All right. I think um, that was a fruitful conversation we had. Uh, thanks a lot uh, for sharing this information. I'm sure a lot of people are going to uh, use this information through this platform. Mm -hmm. And um, we are also going to interview some students who are studying. What is this study? Automotive, Automotive engineering. So yeah, that's the only thing left right now in two minutes. All right. I'll be back soon.